Hello everyone, I'm going to give a brief explanation for our temporary location for perpetual adoration, which is now in the narthex during the remodeling project going on in the St. Anthony room adjacent to the church. Um, we have chosen the narthex because it's further away from the St. Anthony room and hopefully a little more quiet and will create a more reflective atmosphere uh, space for adoration to take place. And also because in the narthex it will permit adorers to lock the narthex door during late hours especially and through the glass around the door to be able to see who's arriving. That's just an added aspect of security. But you need to know how to lock and unlock those doors properly. So first is to note that the only door that will be unlocked throughout the day and accessible for adoration is this side door on the north side of the church. It's the side door that goes into the narthex that has the covered drive. That's the location that you should enter and exit from if you are arriving for perpetual adoration or as a visitor coming to do adoration. Uh, so you'll need to come to the north side door and then if you desire for safety concerns to lock the door. I'm going to show you that in just a moment as I walk into the narthex right now. So I'm standing now just inside the north side door to the narthex. Uh, and again, if a door is for their own sense of security, and especially during the late hours when it's dark at night and in the early morning, if you desire to lock the narthex doors, um, then you need to know how to do that so that uh, that's done properly and that the means to lock and unlock the doors are accessible to everyone who comes. So if you're choosing to lock the door, you'll need to come into this entryway through the north side. And over here near the fire panel, you'll see is an Allen wrench that is hanging from a screw on the wall. Uh, please, if you lock and unlock doors with the Allen wrench, please make sure to return it to its spot on the wall. That will help us all find it and know where it is and we won't lose it. So please do make sure that you're being careful with this so that every adorer has this possibility open to him or to her. It's a very simple process to lock and unlock the doors. You see right here, there is a little hole uh, next to the crash bar on each door. And it's into that hole that the Allen wrench is placed. And right now, when the crash bar is pushed in, as it is now, this means the door is unlocked. If you pop the crash bar out by turning the Allen wrench in that hole, the crash bar now comes out and the door is locked. And so if you're arriving for adoration and you desire to lock the door, you may do so with the Allen wrench. And when the crash bars are popped out, that means the door is locked and you have a secure place inside the narthex. You can see at the change of the hour through the glass who is arriving uh, and then let that person in. Um, the Allen wrench again needs to go back onto the screw on the wall. Please, I can't emphasize enough, make sure to do that. You'd be amazed how many things disappear around here. It makes it very complicated to have access to the building when these things disappear. So please handle this responsibly. Uh, if you want to unlock the doors, so right now the doors are locked because the crash bar is extended. The process to unlock the doors is to push the crash bar in and then turn the Allen wrench until it clicks. The crash bar will remain in. Uh, held in and that keeps the door unlocked. So like that, the crash bar is now in and the door is unlocked. That's the process if you desire to lock the door for your own safety. That's uh, entirely acceptable and it's one of the reasons we chose the Narthex for adoration. Again, our valued and committed adorers, we're happy that you continue to support this great prayer effort in the parish. Always, we're welcoming more people to sign up and to commit. And remember, this location, the Narthex for adoration, is temporary until the remodeling project is done. Thanks, y'all. God bless.